Hi everybody and welcome back to another quick tip from Max in Life. I'm Ward and today we're going to be discussing iDVD. Now iDVD is a product that's bundled within iLife uh, and so it ships with all new Macs. Let's take a look at the iDVD. Alright, once you launch iDVD, this is the first thing that you're presented with. It's, you know, what are you going to do, basically? You know, do you, are you going to create a new project, open an existing project, the Magic Eye DVD, which we're not going to get into today, or the One Step DVD? So we're going to create a new project, and we are going to call it Our Wedding, because I'm going to use pictures that I took at my son's wedding. Now, here you have an option of a 4x3, four, four which is standard def, or 16 by 9 which is high def. Um, the difference is if you if you view this on a regular def TV screen the standard def will take up the full screen all right whereas the the 16 by 9 or widescreen will have the bars on the top and the bottom but you'll still see the whole thing it's not going to crop your product or your project but I'm going to go with 16 by 9 because I know that the template that I want to use is 16 by 9 and it just makes it a lot easier. So then we're going to say create. And there you are. Now, if you'll notice, by default it's, it starts up in the 7 other themes because this is iLife 09 and it's version 7 of iDVD. You still have the, the version 6 if you want to use the version 6 templates or even some of the older stuff is there. But we're going to stick with the 7.0 themes. And if you just scroll down, there's plenty of them and they're all gorgeous, uh, to steal a word from Steve Jobs. They're very intelligently done and they're very easy to manipulate. So we're going to select this one forever for our wedding video. All right. So you'll notice now that there's these drop zones that are all over the place. And what these are are placeholders for pictures. So what you can do is you come down here to the Edit Drop Zones button, and you'll see that there's six of these drop zones. So what I did was I exported some pictures just so I could use them real quick. And we're just going to randomly grab some pictures and throw them in with no rhyme nor reason as to why we're doing it this way. All right, so now our pictures are done. All right, so now you'll notice that all the drop zones are, are, have been replaced by the pictures that we just put in. So let's hit that little button there and we'll preview it. You can change it to whatever, you know, whatever music you want. And to do that, it's very simple. And I've already prepared for that too. And I, so I got an MP3 here. You just drag the MP3 onto it. Now let's check it out. Pretty simple. All right. So now we've created basically our main title. In order to change the name of the menu, we're going to call this Our Wedding. And like anything else that's Mac, you can change the fonts to whatever you want, the font size, whether it's going to be, well, this font only does regular, but you can do, um, you know, italics, bolds, that kind of thing. All right. So for all intents and purposes, our menu's done. All right. So next, we're going to come down here and click the iDVD map. All right, so when the map opens up, the next thing you want to do is highlight your menu, and we're going to create a slideshow. All right, so it creates a slideshow. You double-click it, and it'll open up, and it says drag images here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my demo folder, and I'm going to pick a bunch of pictures and I'm gonna drag them in. Let's say we're gonna play a song to it. 
So when I drag the song in, you just drop it on the little speaker looking icon here, and it pops it in. And if you'll notice over here, the slide duration has changed to fit the audio. So my song happened to be four minutes and 25 seconds. So what it'll do is it'll calculate how to use those 56 pictures in four minutes and 25 seconds. So you don't have the hard, you know, every three seconds we're going to change. And then your transition is how it changes from one picture to the next. I'm going to, I have a, pr a preference that I like, and that is using the droplet. You can go through any of these, and I'm going to show you how you preview it, and you can decide how you want to set that up. But I would like the droplet, so we're going to, I'm going to use droplet. The other thing you want to do is check your settings, and make sure you check this box, add image files to DDBD ROM. So pretty much this slideshow is done. So let's check it out and see what happens. So you click the little preview button. And there's the music I put in. I used uh, Babe by Styx. There's our slideshow. And if I let this whole thing play through, you'll notice that the pictures don't repeat. They, and they last as long as the show does, or as long as the song does. So now we're going to go back to our view here, and this is the DV, back to the DVD map. So I want to add something else. I have a video that I want to add. So I'm going to click on the Our Wedding, because that's our main menu. And I'm going to come down here and click Add Movie. And it says add movie here. So then just highlight it. I happen to keep the movies. I kept all my project files on the desktop just for ease of use during this demonstration. So I'm going to just drag my movie in and leave it go. And give it a second. And it's thinking and thinking and thinking. Now my, my video is there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the preview DVD playback button on the Movie. And as you are keeping your attention, the event floor, they'll be having their first dance as part of their wives. Good. So then we're going to stop that and we're going to go back to our menu page. And what you'll notice is on the menu page, it created my slideshow and first dance. Well, that's really not what I want those to be. So what I'm going to do is you click on it twice and you'll type in whatever you want that, I guess, menu to be called. So we're going to want it to be called pictures. And then we're going to do the same thing here for first dance, and we're just going to fix it so it's, um, we'll make it our first dance. Oops. And we're done. All right, so then we can preview the men the menu again. Everything's done and tested, and you're happy with it. And you say, okay, this is exactly what I want. You can do a couple different things. You can come up here to File and say you want to burn it as a DVD. You want to save as a disk image. So I find this happening a lot. I'll create a DVD and send it to somebody, and then two days later, they showed it to somebody who wants a copy. So instead of having to either A, remaster it, or B, take another, you know, take their copy back so I can make a copy of it. I can keep the disk image around and just keep cranking them out as they're needed. I'm not going to do that. If to burn it, you come down here and there's a little button right there. Burn this project to disk. You click the button, you stick in a DVD, and you're done. It will take all your files, it compresses them, and turns them into a great looking DVD. Uh, so that's pretty much all we have for uh, IDVD today. Until next time, I'm Ward. This is Max in Life. Take it easy.